Hey yo, welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Two Man Dem Talk Presents Movie Madness. I'm Matt Kwame. And I'm your boy Enigma. And you know this is that show when we just break down the madness that's going on in the movie world. What's going on, bruv? A lot that's going on. We break down some of the big breaking stories, whether they're trailers, it's whether it's the <laughs> well, however we feel about these subjects, man. <laughs> um, so, bruv, you wanna ju- we're going to jump straight in? We're going to jump straight in because there's a lot to talk about, man. Mm-hmm. And I mean, mm-hmm. we're going to jump in with some movie madness. We've got to jump in with the, the legend that is, you know, we've got to talk about the guy they call Denzel Washington. Mm-hmm. Boy. Made a big announcement yep. in this interview that he did. It's weird, he made two big announcements mm-hmm. and said them almost like it was nothing. <laughs> and it's like, dude, like you did you do realize that like, you're gonna stop the world where you say shit like yeah, calm down, yeah, bro, yeah, calm down. Yeah, yeah, about you're yeah. gonna deliver two uh friggin' atomic <laughs> bombs in one conversation and That's say it's nothing. Now That's these two saying. atomic bombs that he dropped was mm. one, Ran Kugler is writing a role for him. Yeah, in the next Black Panther movie, Black Panther, Black Panther 3, Three, which we didn't even know Ryan Coogler was even doing. Exactly, to be honest, exactly. which is crazy. So that's technically two bombs in one. The one that mm. the fact that Ryan Coogler is actually back on board doing Black, uh, the next Black Panther, and two, yeah. Denzel's going to be in it. And mm. then the third one, who the hell do you think you are, Denzel? You can't just announce that man's, re- man's retiring <laughs> after that. Is he away? Do you not know who you are to the random? Are you dumb? Uh, like, yeah, you literally yeah, can yeah. stop people watching movies if you start making movies. Are you <laughs> He's wilding. You ain't passing the just... to your son, fam. Oh, like, uh, oh, uh, <laughs> you, don't mention you, it. You know, like, <laughs> 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 like, no, seriously. No, seriously. What do you think he did? Yeah, no. But I've, I've, before we get to the retirement, I just say Denzel and MCU. Yeah, come Franco. on. Come Gas, on. bruv. I'm not gonna come lie, bruv. Seriously. I'm I really proper, the proper irony for that. of Denzel being not even in the MCU but specifically being in Black Panther is wild mm. because they used to have them rumours back in the day mm. that that technically could have been the second film that Wesley and Denzel would have been in together what Black Panther yeah because originally mm. Black Panther was actually the first film that Wesley developed before Blade before yeah yeah I heard this so yeah, imagine yeah. If Denzel would have been in it back then as well mm. Wesley being uh, Black Panther itself yeah, yeah, that would have been sick. Almost playing the role of Black Panther, like um, uh, Killmonger, Killmonger, and T'Challa. Yeah, e- yeah. Michael Even B. That... Gordon and Chadwick Boseman. Yeah, 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 that was yeah. the one because I actually wasn't going to yeah. say him. I was going to say yeah. um, Kaluuya's character. But then again, that's oh, too no. small. Oh no, it's a, it's a pussy old side brand. So, side side brand. Too small I followed every man that went around. I know. <laughs> You're I'm T'Challa's brethren. Oh no, I'm Killmonger's brethren now. Fam, make your fucking mind up, fam. I did hate the character still. Wait, I did, I did, yeah, I did. he's weird. He I was did, I did, wait, I did. Like that. Yeah, yeah, but, that's yeah. No, Denzel and MCU. For me, yeah. I don't care what blood clot role you give him. Um, Tag ain't got shit on me. Nigga needs to be whining out, cussing out some people. I'm putting motor verses on all of you, both. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Super program, Doctor Strange. Super program, Thanos. <laughs> oh, you dead on yeah. I, w- I would like him to be a villain. I'm not gonna lie. Denzel yeah, no, no. Denzel, the if he's coming in, it makes no mm. sense for him to be a good guy. Yeah, yeah. He's too yeah. good of an actor to be a good guy. That's why you, when they wanted him to be, maybe he was gonna join the Fast and Furious franchise. A man turned it down. Yeah, you know that was yeah, Jaimon's yeah. role. That Jaimon took in number seven. Oh, seriously? That was supposed to be Denzel. Oh, okay. Yeah, seriously? That was no, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. But yeah. Jaimon did a better job because it was small enough for Jaimon. I don't think mm. I don't think it was big enough for Denzel. That's absolutely, do you know how insulting that is? That That's what I'm saying. That to Denzel. Yeah, Please. because I, I think there was talk of give that to John David. Actually, no, no, I'm wrong. No, I'm think I'm wrong. No, he was supposed to be the original Mister Nobody. It wasn't. Kurt I was Russell. thinking that, bro. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, it must have been the Jaimon. Kurt Russell character. It was. Yeah, 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 yeah it was. Because yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a bit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll go wrong, I'll go wrong. It's Mr. Nobody. But, no, Mr. Nobody would have been a good role, but Kurt Russell was better at it for me because it fit him, I think. And I think Denzel, it would have been better if he had played a villain. But the villain mm. needed more... It wasn't enough in the Fast uh, franchise, which is oh, why I didn't know. get it. Well, he could not have done... He could, he could. not have... Yeah, Mr. Could. Nobody ain't that great a role anyway, bro. No, no, Again, no. That's, and it's, it makes sense. That that's you, insulting that to Denzel. Yeah, like, me yeah. personally, I think the greatest actor of all time. So I think that's yeah, absolutely yeah. insulting I think so. to I give think Denzel so. that role. I just know that whatever role Ryan is going to give him, we saw what he done for Angela. I reckon he's going to write a 
I but don't. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. Bad man for him. I Either hope, way, if it's good or bad, I think it's going to be a very good man. I, I kind of don't want bro. him to be a good guy. It's Ryan. I don't want him, to, don't be want him to be a good guy. I don't want him to be a good guy. Let him be the main protagonist of Black yeah. Man for free. Yeah. That would be sick. That would get people Because he's retiring, he's obviously needs to die. Mm, he's, there you go. he's either going to play a villain that has to be killed off, mm-hmm. or he's going to play um, uh, Forrest Whitaker type character. <laughs> 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 I should have done it. That's a little bit. Uh, that's a little crazy. How in the hood? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, because I think he has to Lewis. play an elder character, mm. just like Forrest Whitaker, because that mm. was a good role for Forrest Whitaker. But I feel again, be too small for someone like Denzel. Yeah. He's retiring, yeah. Maybe he's yeah. going to take a little side role, which is still a big role, but still a mm. side role nonetheless. Or he's the main villain. I can't. Now he's the main villain. He's else. gonna. He's gonna be the main villain. He has There's to be. Only, like, Ryan got Angela to the Oscar nominations and Bear Water Awards. Ooh. Let's remember, she did win a lot of awards. He could easily get there. He can get Denzel there. I reckon he's writing as bad man role. Bad man role. Remember, not, 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 to, not to slide off the Denzel thing for a second, but to stay on the Black Panther thing for a second. Mm. This is shit that got me so mad about all of the talk that they give about black movies and black led movies. They kept on saying they don't make money, they don't profit, they don't profit, they don't mm. profit. Mm. Or they don't do nothing, they don't affect change and all this stuff. And representation is where it doesn't matter and all this stuff. The impact that Black Panther left on the game. Mm. And I'm just talking about on what it did on in, on in uh, not even just to, to to black people or black kids around the world. What it did to the movie industry. Everyone mm. is trying to downplay it. Only one day in in the next ten twenty years will they actually talk about the phenomenon that Black Panther one really was. Because trust me, they're downplaying it. Because when you realize it was the first Marvel film to be nominated for an Oscar. And at the time, it was the highest grossing Marvel film of all time next to, you can't include the Avengers because the Avengers are ensemble films. We're talking about standalone Marvel movies. No other film had done what, and think about it, that came out, what, what year did Black Panther come out? 2018? 2018, yeah. 2018. Yeah. Marvel had been around for 10 years. So they had all mm. these movies before Black Panther, but Black mm. Panther was the one that did the most damage. Mm. So anyway, mm. one day they're going to talk about it. So now... Obviously, the second one didn't do as well because Chadwick is not in it. He's gone, and obviously that was a big, a big miss, a big sad, mm-hmm. uh, sad mm-hmm. because him gone. He he was a massive, massive relevant character to the franchise. But now you bring someone like Denzel in, and mm-hmm. Kugler's come back. Mm-hmm. Well, I can only imagine what the numbers of this not this last Black Panther is going to do. Of course, I of couldn't course. tell you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just because I, I, people want to see. I can imagine when the trailer drops. Yeah, just alone putting Denzel in it. I mean, I think that's the reason why a lot of people are gas for Gladiator too because they want to yeah. see Denzel in this. It's Denzel in it. They kind of go on that's saying. Really now the bag that he is actually a villain in it because he looks like a villain. In, in Denzel in uh, yeah, Gladiator because they don't really I, show you. I've, yeah, yeah, and I think he's one of those complicated villains type of thing. I don't okay. think he's a main protagonist. I think it is um, Pedro Pascal and all them man there. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, um, yeah. but um, a Denzel, I, I think, obviously, he's just come off the Equalizer trilogy as well. And that was, mm. I think, despite what my dissent previously said, Equalizer 3, the trilogy itself was dope. And it's, again, it's I numbers, think it's man. actually, it's done numbers and it's it's... Not like Denzel needed it, but again, no, it's taking no. him. It's another notch on the belt in the career. Yeah, kind of yeah. what I'm saying. And then he said in this interview, "I only want to do stuff I kind of want to do now because he, as you said, he's he said he's going to retire. So, going to do the Steve McQueen film. Probably said, yeah, maybe I do want to do one of these Marvel movies or DC mm. movies. Ryan heard that. Yeah, I'm on that, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'll write something for you. And then, then, then that's that. So, I think the possibilities are endless. Ryan in control. Um, it's gonna be dope. Whatever way they they go with it, um, it can't be shit enough, in it. It's one of can't them. Can't be shit. It just can't be. Can't shit. be shit. I'd be very surprised. Movie. I know people didn't really like Shuri as Black Panther, etc. I know that they didn't. Ryan, though, it? So. Yeah. What? What was it, Ryan? Did Odin? Did Ryan do that? Yeah, he did direct that movie, bro. He directed yeah, he it, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he done both. He done both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's that yeah. is the one. Thing that people can well, tell you about, right? He didn't do that one. No, 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 no. He wrote and directed that. Let's just be clear. Yeah. Is it bad that I've never cared to watch it since I watched it? No, no. Some movies just have that effect on you. 
Some movies, yeah, some no, movies no. you can respect what it is, you can actually enjoy it, but you just never drew for it again. Because I don't know straight up curse of the of um, the after uh, uh, post end game movies. Or I don't even think it's that. Because... Like Avatar: Way of the Way of Water. I went cinema to see that. I yeah. really enjoyed it. I've okay. never even thought about watching it since. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. It's Shit. just some movies. I think, yeah. You know, what I'm saying you enjoy it, but see, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, okay. That makes me feel better because I kind of felt bad, <laughs> like like oh, I'm not re- not reading it at all. So boy, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. So Denzel joining the Black Panther MC universe, Black Panther three, will be amazing. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm looking forward to that. I can't wait to see that trailer. Yeah, man. People, if you agree or disagree, and whatever how you feel about Denzel being in the next Black Panther three, please let us know. Drop a line in the comments, man. We appreciate that. Mm. Still. Yeah, so continuing on the movie madness, um, we're going to be talking about a trailer, man. Trailer that dropped recently, and that is a trailer for the Anthony Mackie starring Captain America Brave New World. Bro, how did you feel about the newest trailer for Captain America Brave New World? Ironically, I'll come. To, I'll jump on the trailer real quick. I'm mm-hmm. looking on IMDb. They took the actual piss with Mackie uh, because you said that Anthony Mackie's starring. You know, mm-hmm. like <laughs> on IMDb, they literally put him fourth villain, bro. I, that's a piss take. Yeah. They put Harrison Ford top. Yeah. Rosa Salazar, Liv Tyler. Sorry, no. Giancarlo Esposito. Then Anthony Mackie. I don't. I, I don't really think that's just however they put them on the. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm telling you, the computer, yeah, yeah, I don't think it's that. Yeah, no, yeah, no, 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 no. Because of the trailer, it's Anthony Mackie. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, but, yeah, but yeah. Remember, remember what we've said from day when it comes to IMDb and, and racial shit. IMDb's racist, bro. IMDb's run by yeah. Anyway, yeah. I don't want to get yeah. into that. Not yeah. that. I know what you was gonna say. And yes, it is. get that but, world. This is a brave new world. How you feel about it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yes. So obviously, the trailer lets you know if if you watched uh, 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 what's it called uh, Winter Soldier mm-hmm. Falcon and Winter Soldier series yeah. it yeah. feels like it carries on from then yeah 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 I like the series a lot personally yeah like yeah. I really liked it it was actually one of my favourites of the um, Marvel Disney TV Plus, shows uh, Marvel yeah, yeah. series Marvel shows yeah, yeah. Um, and I because I, I liked the duo of Anthony Mackie and Sebastian Stan mm-hmm. from Civil War they gave yeah. us that five seconds of hilar- hilarity and we yeah. already knew that this <laughs> is what we want to see <laughs> it just worked so I liked it now seeing the trailer because I liked the series so much seeing the trailer I was like you know what and because it's Captain America mm. Captain America for me is the best franchise in the MCU period hands down hands down so hands down. it's hard for them to flop obviously yeah. I wish Chris Evans was in it. Yeah. Surprised if they tried to bring him back. And that's um, a lot of pressure. There's a lot of pressure on this movie as well. This yeah, movie there, is. there is. There is. There definitely is because the level of storytelling in the trilogy so far has yeah, been. It's, it's too good. Like, mm. All the others, I'm, I'm not dissing the other movies, they're good in it, they're cool. But for some reason, the way Captain America stood out amongst all of the Marvel films, yeah. it was just okay. like, hold on. Out of is all this of supposed the, to be this good, yeah. Like, it was all, that. especially out of all of the solo trilogies. We're talking yeah. about Iron Man, the four Captain yeah, America. It's like, it definitely stood out. Captain America and, one, like is dope. the first Avenger. Prime. Yeah, was first Avenger, crazily good, and it was mm. like no one really cared about Captain America until it was portrayed this way by Chris Evans this way. in the movie. Because the first film is sick, yeah. And then how dare you then come and do Winter Soldier as a sequel? For me, Winter Soldier, Winter Soldier is is fighting for first place as my favorite Marvel film of all time. Period. Of all time, yeah. Of all time, that's, like that's, all yeah, standard. Because standard, it's that standard. Good. I fucking love Winter Soldier. I still remember when I first watched that? The scene with Samuel Jackson in the car, yeah. bro. Yeah, I, it was. Anyway, yes, yeah, bro, the first time. Oh my yes. god, I forgot about that. Yes. Yeah, and then and, obviously yeah. Civil War, Civil War, Civil War, and then Civil added, War. And that's even that's fighting fight. with Winter Soldier as well. Yeah, that's Civil the fight. War, that's the fight. I absolutely fight. love Civil War as well. Yeah. When yeah. we first saw Spider Man catch the shield, all right, fuck off, innit? All right, you're but done. That's the thing. You're done. I don't know what was more amazing to see. Was it Spider Man catching the shield or when Black Panther lands on punches up Winter Soldier? 
I don't know what I was more gassed. Yeah, both. It both might have been Spider Man because coach. we've been waiting for Spider Man for so long. Yeah, yeah. But that to see Black Panther, because bro, you have to remember this is the first time we're seeing a black superhero. Or is it or is it when Black Panther, when Clint said to Black Panther, Hi, I'm Clint, and Black Panther said, I don't, I don't care. care. I don't care about your blood clot. Still one of those bad, bad lines. I love that scene. All the time. I love that scene. I don't care. Oh, I don't care. I'm here for a reason. Bad, bad. I'm coming to thump you up, bro. He did. You know what I'm saying? He did. No, I really love the intro they gave for Black Panther in Civil War. But Mm. Brave New World, like, it... The trailer kind of gave me everything I wanted to see in a a Captain America movie. Definitely. Because of what they've been doing. Mm. from the past because mm. you know the whole you know we talk about you know the whole action thriller espionage mm. you know i just I, I like how they kept it like that all the way mm. through mm. and uh the, the twists and turns of you know the goodies and the baddies and i like what they're doing with um what's his name is it um as as i bradley um the the first um Super soldier, Cap, like, super soldier, yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, like, and I love, I like that you can see they're keeping that through line in it because obviously he was activated in the trailer and then he tries to assassinate the president who is now yeah. Harrison Ford. But then Winter Soldier, remember Winter Soldier was yeah. all about Bucky being reactivated, so they've kept that through line. You yeah. can just see. I hope they've taken a the time with the writing. There was a lot of reshoots. Supposedly there was some issues with the director as we previously mentioned so i hope that gets sorted out but harrison ford as well obviously adds a bit of prestige as well we got to see a lot more a bit more red hulk as well how you feel about the red hulk though i wasn't sure about it when i saw it i was a bit um i mean i don't know if it's because i feel like harrison ford is just too old in that like like, i don't know maybe i'm 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 not even dissing harrison but i kind of get what you're saying Harrison's kind of lost the oh it's Harrison yeah. Ford factor yeah. I'm not going to lie to you maybe it was the Expendables maybe it was Indiana Jones that last fucking one you, yeah that, that you lose a lot of luster after that but I get what you're saying but Dennis Harrison he knows how to work in these conspiracy type thrillers he is we, good you know, he's, he's a bit clear in present danger fugitive all that yeah. you know he, yeah. He's, yeah. He, he, can, he can do this type of, type of he work he can I so, mean Air Force the, One the Red Hulk you know, I thought it looked yeah F, ooh, Air Force One yeah, I fine. thought Red Hook looked Red Hulk looked um, comic accurate. I think it could be good. It's going to be a dope fight. I reckon it's going to be a dope fight. Obviously, he's going to have the one on one with Mackie. Um, yeah, I'm going to be. In, I, I like it, man. I'm. I'm. I'm kind of. I'm. I got a lot of hope for this movie, and I don't know why. So yeah, I agree. Um, this is this is the first film in this new phase that I've been excited about mm. Mm. since since. In fact, no, this is the first film that I've been excited about to actually see and like potentially like you know go all out to go see this since uh, Endgame mm, mm. like because I'm trying to think of since Endgame what have I actually cared to go see because there's been a yeah. load of movies that's come out since Endgame that's only year, five only, years only f- for me it's Deadpool and Wolverine I was very that oh, well, that very and I, I, that, that, if you're not counting in that, yeah, I'm not counting that. the actual MCU and the original yeah, yeah. will be class as the MCU yeah yeah yeah, yeah it's been a while it's been a while like, because even I've 10 been with Banks I didn't care about it at the weren't, time weren't crazy gas for it no. um, Doctor Strange 2 again they, they made it seem like it was more than it was in the trailer as well. Like they, again, they, they hurt that. Yeah, man. yeah, they did. Yeah, they're not really too. Weren't too maps about Doctor Strange is actually not, first, parting, no second favorite. Can we include Spider Man? Yes, because didn't what was the last one? Yeah, okay then. Well, yeah. Well, either way, yeah. Yeah. Basically, yeah. It's been a while. It's been a while since I've got hope. Looking forward to it. Glad that Mackie finally gets to lead. Um, I see my man is now going to be the Falcon as well. Looking forward to how that's working out. Like that he's been taken from the Falcon and Winter Soldier TV show. They've kept that on and he was always kind of looked up to, to Andy Mackie. So it makes sense for him to be the Falcon as well. So I'm looking forward to that. Mm. I even forgot Giancarlo Esposito, bruv. Add a bit of Giancarlo. Oh, well. Bob, I don't yeah, think anybody it's a bit of Jaime and Yeah, you throw a bit of that John Carlo seasoning on, oh, everything man. tastes better. Everything oh, tastes better. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. The, he's like the, 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 the Spanish Samuel Jackson, bro. <laughs> like, 
he must be in just as much movies as him because bloody hell, oh, yeah. Giancarlo. And to be honest, I'm surprised Giancarlo. He, he's like the greatest bit actor, bit player of all time. Mm. Like the greatest second guy of all time. Mm. But he never headlines. Yeah, yeah. But he's definitely up the there. Thing. He's definitely up there. It's like him in films. And I remember I used to say this to my brother all the time that's the type of actor you want to be. You don't mm. want to be the headliner because mm. the headliner can have flops. Mm. And if you have flops, the phone stops ringing because they think mm. you can't sell anymore. Yeah. But when you're yeah. the second guy in the lead, you will always get work. Yeah. Because yeah. you always play a, a brilliant number two. And Giancarlo's... Good or bad. And Giancarlo's Giancarlo's always had work. Always had Never work. From worked. Spike Lee days, bro. Yeah. From Spike Lee days <laughs> all the way out. He's done the Literally. Star Wars. He's done everything. Everything. They everything. Asked. Obviously, Breaking Bad. Breaking, Breaking Bad. Bad was his most iconic roles. Yeah, um, yeah bro. I, bro you, you, you can't go wrong. Mega shitterless, bro. <laughs> Let's, no, he he was, I, don't want, I want to forget. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. Father of the Bride. That's yeah. what it was when it, when it turned into a rom com. But yeah, yeah, fucking hate that, that film. Bad. Hate that film. Very bad. But fucking just hate that to prove the point, look at that. He's always thought of because he's mm. just that good. Just that he's reliable. Just that, just that reliable. Yeah. And I think yeah. he's going to add a nice. I think. Obviously, so. playing the villain, but obviously, he's going to add a nice bit of protagonism, a lot, lot oh. of. And he's going to have to deal with it, man. No, he's not going to roll over easy, no matter what. Um, you don't get a, a character like Giancarlo to get murked in our first half hour, so I know he's going to be a proper thorn in the side. Yeah. Of him. Yeah. yeah. Um, action looks good. Storyline looks good. Isaiah, you said coming back good. Yeah. I'm in, bro. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm in. I'm in. Yeah. I'm in. I'm in. Yeah. I'm excited for it. I'm excited for it. Yeah. I'm, I'm, quite, yeah. I'm happy that I can get to be excited for it because, you know, I've kind of lost all faith in the MCU. But to see this, I was like, ooh, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I see you as like, I can rub my hands together. I'm ready for this. So, yeah. Captain but, America Brave New World. Interesting title. Mm-hmm. Talk about that another time. But, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What do you guys think? Let us know. Put it in the comments. Okay, so yeah, so we're just going to continue on, um, because obviously talking about Marvel, let's jump into the next subject, which actually involves Marvel. Mm -hmm. Um, Marvel's been talking about their new slate. They've just released their new sizzle reel Mm -hmm. and showing all the all the new shit that's about to drop. Some that's as it some dropped already, or some's about to drop. About to drop, yeah. That's coming. Yeah, yeah. Boy, the list is good. Um, Mm -hmm. Interesting, interesting. What were you excited about? I mean, look, bruv. If you can remember the list. Yeah, no, I mean, Daredevil was there. Ironheart yeah. was there. Wonder yeah. Man was there. What If Season 3 was there. Um, I Have Wakanda, the new Wakanda show was there. Yeah, I was surprised to see that. Uh, your Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man, new, that, that new show yeah. was there. Yeah, yeah, um, that was good. Yeah, I'm not going to lie, bruv. I'm not going to lie. Me, personally, I'm most excited for the return of Daredevil, hands down. Like, for me, it's not even a, not even Do, do you feel close. like that show was like a sleeper hit? Like, um, when I say sleep hit, it was more of like, it was surprising as to how good it actually was. 100%. I think, as well, it proved that people can do superhero. It, remember, let's always remember, it was Netflix. You kind of get what I'm saying. Obviously, it was under the Marvel banner, but Netflix kind of show run that, etc., it proved just how good those type of shows can be done if they're done in a gritty, realistic way. Yeah. The kind of guy was saying the violence was hardcore. The the action scenes, that hall, the hallway scene is like, absolutely iconic. You've got um, Vincent Stay D'Onofrio. Out, oh boy. Vincent D'Onofrio is still one of the most bad yeah. man villains as well. It's Vincent yeah. D'Onofrio. But, yeah, 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 and yeah. and, yeah. and my, my man Punisher, John Burfell up in yeah. there bad man as well so yeah, yeah. i am gas and i'm glad because remember there was rumors originally it was they were written it this this version was more of a legal procedure um show Is and that he what he was gonna... yeah he wow. wasn't supposedly he wasn't gonna put on a daredevil costume to like episode five or six and then that came out foggy and all of that karen they weren't coming back that came out the fan buzz was like nah went back to the drawing board having that now, if, now everybody back. Now Vincent back, Foggy oh, back, yeah. Karen back. It's hardcore, it's violent. So that's what I'm most looking forward to. Um, yourself so far? What, what Yourself of the I shows? Mean, I can't lie. Like, I didn't even finish the end of the last the last Daredevil mm. season. I was sort of season before. Like, Daredevil, 
yeah, I was fully impressed by Daredevil. Sick. I'm looking forward to seeing Daredevil because it, yeah. Vincent D'Onofrio, you kind of said it to me. Everything I just mm. want to repeat everything you said to spot on. Like Daredevil, good villain, good show. Mm. It's just good that the friggin' uh, original Ben Affleck movie didn't tarnish the series because I know at the beginning when it first started, people thought, why are you making Daredevil? The film was yeah. shit. Not yeah. realizing that, yeah. nah, that film was shit. Yeah. Let someone else do it properly and then this is what, this is what you get because the series, completely different from the film mm. in terms of performances and just the gritty look worked mm. yeah it was, sick. It was, sick. Like, it was sick it was sick yeah it's like it gives you a do you know what i liked about it? it's like daredevil and luke cage have a mm. very similar feel and i don't know if it's because they're both set in different parts of new york yeah but yeah, 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 i yeah. like how they show the grittiness and the, the color grading the color schemes and mm. it, it almost looks realistic comic booky I and mean, yeah. it sounds so weird but they really no, but captured it, worked. it. I think that's why yeah. people are so attached to definitely those two shows of the Netflix shows yeah. and just the shows, I guess. I think people did like that um, yeah. as well. It was only um, Iron Fist that would no one liked. No one, no one thought about that. That never happened. <laughs> just rough. <laughs> but um, yeah, but no, yeah, da- yeah, Daredevil, the freaking Spider-Man card. Like, mm, I feel like. Sense. They, they was like, yeah, X Men '97 did well. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's, 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 let's uh, try do it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And let's, let's go like, back yeah. to basics. Let's yeah, make let's go back to basics. Neighbor, Spider Man. It's, it's, it's a lot cheaper, and uh, yeah, yeah, we can get. Yeah, let's get it done. Get it there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I reckon that shit came out the week after. That went also, the also week as well. I am sure after the success of Spider Verse. Spider-Verse two. Them motherfuckers yeah. They were like eh, They was like we, we need a Spider-Man show We need a yeah, Spider-Man cartoon We need to right ever now, make right Another now. live Spider-Man <laughs> They're probably Bruv I'm telling you Right Spider-Man now They're in the boardroom Thinking like Cover it up We cover don't up. need that no more I Literally Cover it up Cover, cover it up We don't need that no more Put, Listen <laughs> tell, tell Tom He's fired Don't need that Don't need that <laughs> tell, tell the rest of the man Don't talk Andrew <laughs> <laughs> Tell Toby We ain't gonna need you guys back we're good. Literally, we're just we're gonna, just gonna, gonna pump gonna, our cartoons. Just gonna, really, just gonna run cartoons. it by cartoons. It don't really matter. Uh, we might get you lot back to do voiceovers, but that's it. Yeah. Bro, yeah the Spider yeah. Verse is what the fuck, man. It's like it's creating a whole new lane now. It's like that's the one thing I hope Marvel jump back on because if they're smart and pay attention, well, they're probably not gonna give a shit about DC because DC is so far behind them. But when we're talking about DC animation. Mm. DC animation is the best animation Marvel are not touching them mm. but if they keep realising that this is actually there's an avenue for, for Marvel animation they could take over very I think, easily well bruv I, I think look they're leaning into it what if season 3 is dropping as we said I have Wakanda yeah. is dropping yeah, yeah, Marvel yeah. Zombies they are, they it looks like they're doing that's, it you get like me that's, and, and spend up Spider-Man that's 4 new yeah. animated shows that are dropping yeah. so I think, they're, I think they're doing exactly what you're saying bruv I it's actually true. think they're leaning into it um I was only sad book. for one thing mm. on that list. I, I didn't know. see X Men 9 7. It's coming, bruv. It's coming. It's definitely. Uh, season 2 hoping. is definitely coming. Whether it will be next year, whether it will be yeah, next year, I'm not too sure. Um, but they're already stacked. It's stacked next year, bruv. Yeah, these these yeah, are new. Yeah. Just, just, I'm going to run it down for people. Spider Man is dropping January 29th. That's, this is okay. for next year. Daredevil mm. Born Again. That's dropping March 4th. Iron Heart is dropping June twenty fourth. Iron Heart, I'm not too sure. I don't think it was the best introduction in Black Panther two. I'm gonna be gonna just keep it real. I think the actress seems cool, but I'm not. I'm not gassed for that show. I will support I, it. I, I will wasn't sold. I wasn't sold. On yeah, it. I wasn't sold on the character. I agree. I agree. No, really. Um, it's not like, for instance, the Agatha character. She's kind of smashed it. Smashed it in One Division. She's now had her own spin off show, and that smashed it as well. And like, that's been critically mm-hmm. acclaimed as well. So. I'm hoping Ironheart can do that, but I've not been impressed so far. Eye of Wakanda, that's dropping August 6th. That, Eyes of Wakanda, that looks, mm. well, I'm hoping it's, mm. you know, it's going to be centered around the, the the world building that they've shown in Wakanda. I'm really looking mm. forward to that. Marvel Zombies is dropping in October and Wonder Man is dropping in December. Bruv, Wonder Man, interesting. Yeah. How you feel about that? Yeah, I was about, about to ask you, bruv, because mm. I was like, okay, what is this? <laughs> Because I didn't, you know, mm. I was like, I didn't really get it. Yeah, where are we going? Again, they didn't really sell it. They didn't really sell it. Yeah, yeah. But, but can yeah. I also say again, Hollywood strikes again when I saw mm. Wonder Man. And what? I hate that I have to say this 
Oh, oh, oh black wh- white, white sidekick, is that what you're going to say? No, no, not even that, not even that. That's another trope, because there's no point in even trying to deal with the tropes. I'm just talking about straight actors getting work. Mm, mm. Yaya Abdul Mati. Mm. You're oh, already a villain actor. in the DC. Yeah, yeah, universe. okay, yeah, yeah. Bruv, I'm, I'm not going to lie here. I'm getting to the point now where it doesn't... It's it, lazy, it's, though, bruv. It's, I yeah, find it late. Do you know, okay, do you know, yeah, bro, I, have say, I, I have to say, I have to say, do you know why it bothers me? Yeah. Because it's been done so many times. No, sorry. No, let me phrase this. The first, one of the first, if not the first ever time it was done, should have set a precedent, and it seems to have not set a precedent, of casting an unknown in such a major character's role, superhero role, and making that person worldwide famous. Mm. Christopher Reeves. He's the first person. Christopher Reeves was unknown. They picked him because he was unknown. They mm. had all these neat big names mm. at first before that was ahead of Christopher Reeves to play Superman. Mm. They chose Christopher Reeves, one, because obviously he looked the stature he had to look, and he and because he was unknown. It made him a household name. Mm. And he had been in stuff before then. Mm. But the fact that he was unknown, it made him. Now, all of these people, now you can fast forward 30 years. Robert Downey Jr. was also well-known big actor but his career had fallen off when he did Iron Man completely changed his career mm-hmm. it put him back on the map so mm-hmm. ultimately what I'm saying is use unknowns it will do better for the film because it makes people believe the characters more because we don't know them and we can't picture them as somebody else they've already played mm-hmm. when when Robert Downey played Iron Man no one could picture him as anything else because he hadn't done anything else substantial. Yeah. yeah. Now when he does anything else, everyone pictures him as Iron Man. Unfortunately for his career and his boss. Do you get what I'm saying? But it doesn't matter because you? he made 50 oh, yeah. mil. He made 100 yeah, mil. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So yeah. it doesn't matter. He, and, he, and he's gone back now. He knows where he's been. Yeah, and exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And he's gone back now anyway because he realised, mm. okay, I'm tight, cast fuck it. Mm. Mm. But the point I'm trying to make is if they go with these unknowns, that's the reason why, again, also, Jason Momoa when he played Aquaman, Mm. That's why Aquaman was so successful because he mm. is who people envisioned would be Aquaman. This is mm. why Chadwick Boseman did so well as Black Panther. He was unknown at the time. Mm. So what I'm saying is when they keep choosing people who we know who, who have played certain characters in other films mm. and again, an actual superhero or villain, mm. why are you going to go recast them? I don't want to see it. So yeah. yeah, I'm just saying Wonder Man and I'm not blaming Yaya because he's a great actor but it spoiled it for me seeing another act, known actor in another big role. I don't want to see that. I'm sick of it. No. Oh, but I, I, I kind of, I do hear, I do, I do, hear. and I, I agree. Cycling plant. This easily, it's easily could have been given to a, a an unknown actor to try and establish himself. But I think MCU right now, I genuinely think they're playing it safe. I think they're saying, you know what? Yeah, we'll problem. just, we'll just Disney as a whole. People that's been there before. So yeah. But that's the this is Disney as a whole. I'm not even going to blame just MCU. But this is Disney as a whole because they're such a frigging. Uh, monopoly conglomerate at the moment that it's almost like they run f- movies through focus groups now and that's what I don't like about it because now they're only attaching names to movies to sell the movie mm. yes it's a business but they have completely at a point I thought there was still a balance of we care about art and creativity now they don't now it's just about selling mm. it's as clear as day now mm. but yeah cool man well look people no matter how you feel about Marvel, if you agree, disagree, let us know in the comments, man. Let us know which TV show you are looking forward to out of this upcoming slate. I think there's going to be a lot of variety, a lot to choose from. Some are going to be good, some could be exceptional, and some are definitely probably going to keep up the Marvel run of not being that great. So <laughs> we'll just have to wait and see. We'll just have to wait and see. Again, let us know what you think and drop a line in the comments, man. That would be much appreciated. So... <laughs> Yeah, so carrying on the movie madness, you know, next up we're going to be talking about the announcement that came that Star Wars are going to be developing a new trilogy, or the Star Wars franchise is going to be coming with a new trilogy, and it's going to be led by Simon Kinberg, um, well-known producer, writer, he has directed before, we'll get onto that, don't worry, we'll get onto the fact that he had directed before, Um, and yeah, we still don't know whether it's going to be a continuation of the um, original trilogy or they're stuff. They're saying it is. They're saying it is. There is but... also the rumour that it could be actually a brand new trilogy that has yeah. nothing to do with the Skywalker saga, etc., etc. Um, we just know that Simon Kimber is going to be 
shadowing and staring the whole ship, you know, staring the Millennium Falcon if you want to go there with the cliches. But mm. I'm not sure how you feel about this. I know how I feel about this. Bruv, how do you feel about the upcoming Boy. Star Wars trilogy led by Simon Dark Phoenix? X-Men Dark Phoenix. Can Why did you do that? Why did you do that? <laughs> no, it was bad, but it wasn't that bad. But it just wasn't good enough for him to do this. Yes. Uh, but at the same time, I can say the same thing about Ryan Johnson. So I don't think Ryan Johnson did a great job. He did a mediocre job. It wasn't a great yeah, job. Yeah, to this um, day, that's the most divisive Star Wars film. Ever, yeah, so the one yeah. the last Jedi. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yes. And I actually liked it, but when I think, and I this is I hate speculation when it comes to Star Wars, and probably this is the reason why I try not to speak on Star Wars too much. But ever since um, Lucas sold it, which obviously has been obviously since twenty twelve or whatever, and obviously from when they did uh, the Force Awakens, uh, for me it was almost like. In the world of Star Wars, George Lucas is God. He created that world. Mm. So when I started to hear people make their own opinions on where they think storylines should go and what's canon, what's not, it really started to piss me off because it made me think that if I was a writer and I've created these worlds and I've told these stories, how can anyone tell me that? I don't think that should have happened. Or I don't think... I mean, everyone's allowed to have their own opinion. Mm. But the only person that's canon is George Lucas. So... I'm saying that to say whatever he says is, is what should go. Now, ever since he sold it and they didn't involve him in the continuation <laughs> of the story. I'm sorry, if we continue, bro, no. we have to talk about the fucking prequels. That was when no, we let no, George no, you're, do you're saying whatever like the fuck he was I like do. the prequels. The prequels are good. Bruv, no, well, you like them. I like it's them. Not, that bad, not everyone likes them. And let's bruv. be real. Let's be real. Not everyone likes them. Let's not sit here and not and the sit only and like one everyone that I likes. Now dissing is Attack of the Clones, and even Attack of the Clones ain't that bad. Uh, people try and diss Phantom Menace. Go watch. It. Okay, what's the, 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 the young Jar Jar Jar? The young Anakin. The young Anakin as well, fam. Come, come on, let's not sit here and lie to the audience. <laughs> Look, some people like Star Wars prequels. Some and people. In retrospect, have liked it, yeah, but you can't at the say time, shit about um, at the time, and, um, we all thought it was shit. Revenge of the Sith. Say shit about Revenge of the Sith. I'm not, Revenge I, of the Sith. Yeah, I miss. Yeah. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. That's a near that. perfect movie. I'm. Oh, oh, whoa. Yes, I said I, it. It's a near perfect yo, movie. Yes. 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 Yeah, I said nah, it. You wilder now. You You're trying to say now. Revenge of the Sith isn't. Revenge and of the Sith. I am trying to say it isn't. Out of the original trilogy, is the one that I'm watching as well. Bro, that's just, just that one part. I <laughs> <laughs> mean, don't feel it look like a pussy because it's sighting dead. Like, fam, what the fuck? Nah, fam. Nah, prequels. <laughs> nah, Ali Kim was getting some of the things other than that, fam. Swear down. Swear down. Libby, Libby. All right, she okay, had she right. had the bodyguards that looked like her. Man, just a man. Yo, one of them, bro. Yeah, that's so man. fucking funny. Anyway, okay, all right, okay, yes. The first that's why George was not being allowed to to steer the ship anymore. You better sell yeah, that but, shit, nigga. But we saw you know, with the prequels. Regardless of what everybody thought about the uh, original trilogy of Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, and Revenge of the Sith, yeah, mm. it's still light years ahead of Force Awakens, Last Jedi, and the Rise of Skywalker. There's yeah. no comparison as to what. Yeah, going. I mean, Force Awakens it, was half decent. Force, I like Force, Force Awakens, Awakens is dope, but I still like Force Awakens. I still it's, like Force Awakens. I, I didn't like how Han Solo got murked, but I get it. It's fine. I, yeah, I can live yeah. with it. I just didn't like it though, but I can live with it. Last and it was Jedi. good. It's us to pull us all the way in. I get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It made us care. But do you know what? Okay, do you know why it bothered me? It bothered me because you're making a character who we're supposed to hate do one of the most heinous things you could do in the in the Star Wars universe, and then by the end of the trilogy, you're trying to make us like him. Are you fucking stupid? Uh, yeah, yeah. But, okay, but here's the thing: the only reason why I have to fly them is because they did the same thing in the original trilogy. Because mm. Darth Vader kills um, uh, Obi Wan. Obi Wan. By Kobe, the end, we're supposed to like him. But, yes, it's the same thing. But the difference is. Darth Vader's switch was right at the end of Empire. Mm. So it wasn't at the beginning. Mm. It was at the end. It wasn't until the yeah, last yeah, minute when yeah. he kills the Emperor, right? That's yeah, when yeah, you yeah. see the switch. Because yeah. he realizes, shit, that's my son. Okay, cool. Yeah. But yeah. Bro, they try to make us like Kylo Ren from the friggin' second movie, bruv. Mm. Stop it. He's the yeah, villain, yeah. bruv. Make your mind yeah. up. Is it Snoke? Is it yeah. him? 
It is villain. always the look. This the Hollywood problem that we always talk about. I'm yeah. um, trying to turn villains into anti heroes. Yeah, it doesn't it, always it. work. Make your mind up, bro. Yeah, make your Stop mind up. Stop the lines, bro. With this new trilogy, I personally think they mm. shouldn't carry on the Skywalker saga. I don't think. Yeah, yeah like next, I don't think we need the next batch of episodes. I personally think do something new, do something creative, do something in the I Star agree. Wars world. Yeah, if, if you can have some familiarities, but do something. Set another time period whether you want to do another time period yeah. whether you want to do yeah. the old republic type of stuff whatever mm. you want to do whether you want to go light years ahead of what we've yeah. seen in yeah. star wars just for me personally mm. give me something different i don't want random can- um, cameos from the mandalorian or from finn or from, you know it's happening. Um, you know it's yeah, happening. I don't need that bro i don't but, i don't need that seriously but you know why it's really bad that they're even talking about carrying on the the skywalker saga is because they've dropped the ball twice. Are you because, okay? Twice. I mean, okay. The first time, I, I granted it wasn't their fault because um, Carol, Carol Fisher died. Um, because uh, actually, obviously, her being there is another was supposed to be them telling her story in this mm-hmm. next trilogy, which is why I feel the Last Jedi and the Rise of Skywalker didn't end the way it was supposed to. I feel like they that was them scrambling to try and save it because she died. Yeah, and they started to think of maybe another storyline. I but they made the worst decision ever mm. by bringing the emperor back. That was that was the first worst decision, and then the second worst decision was making um, Ray Ray to him. Re- fuck me, that's bad writing. Even saying it now, years it, later, it sounds I, ludicrous. Even and, now, it sounds ludicrous. So you called the last movie of the trilogy the Rise of Skywalker, but nobody in this movie is actually a Skywalker, and no one rises, and no one rises. Sorry. Huh? So what are we doing here? So why? Yeah. How can you carry on yeah. the Skywalker saga when all the yeah. Skywalkers are gone? This is why people. This is why they haven't been able to get any Star Wars movie going since then. This is why it's been years since we've had star wars movies yeah. this is why the patty jenkins one flops ryan johnson was supposed to do another trilogy actually fam everyone hates your film so we don't need you to do it anymore sorry about that bruv sorry taika watiti has been saying for years he's doing his one. Oh yeah he, he he's been writing it blah 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 even they love and thunder actually nah we don't need you either bruv like yeah, I think now we've gone to that. simon kimberg don't get me wrong simon kimberg has produced some dope movies he has been behind some dope shit um again he has got the dark phoenix so i hope he doesn't direct it i really hope yeah. he doesn't direct yeah. no one said he's going to he's probably just steering the ship but yeah. what he does have going for him he was one of the um people behind the star wars rebels tv show which was yeah, yeah. i'm not gonna lie dave filoni obviously gets a lot of credit but simon kimberg was vital mm-hmm. in that show star wars rebels star wars animation for me it's absolutely it's my favorite star wars animation that they've done absolutely love that series so hey simon kimberg has had that he knows what the star wars universe likes star wars rebels is a beloved animation by star wars fans so mm-hmm. He's got that good track record for him. Mm-hmm. Again, I'm trying to be positive about this motherfucker. Yeah. A lot of people have been letting us down recently. So I'm just like, look, please, guys, get this right. Simon has steered the ship well on other stuff. He can do it. He's a Star Wars geek. He's a Star Wars. He's been in the family. Hopefully, they get it right this time. He's, he's talking about also remaking The Running Man. It's happening. Glenn Powell. Glenn Powell. The man at the moment they're really good. okay i'm not mad at glenn powell i like him mm-hmm. yeah, yeah yeah he's good he's good they're doing it yeah i mean i want to see it because i'm guessing that they're going to obviously change a million and one things mm-hmm. uh simon kimberg producing it that'll be interesting mm-hmm. i want to see where they go with it um edgar wright is directing it um i That's i i will go out again and say edgar wright is one of the most underrated directors I'm, That's I'm interested. I'm so annoyed how his career kind of got curtailed yeah, by the yeah. whole Ant Man thing because he yeah. was absolutely smashing it. Cornetto yeah. trilogy, Scott Pilgrim, I even like that. Yeah. Baby Driver, yeah. obviously that was yeah. after Ant Man and stuff, but yeah. Yeah. it feels like Edgar never really recovered after that, and it's like his balloon just popped. So yeah. I'm hoping this one puts him back on the map. It's running, man, man. So hopefully 
they use that IP well. But it's yeah, for bro, real. That, I'm surprised it's taken them that long to to redo Running Man. Running Man was yeah. right for a remake a long time ago. I'm for surprised real, they didn't man. do that in the 2000s or something. Like yeah, that, so. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm agree. looking forward to that. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. But it's true. I mean, I don't. Want, I'm, I'm not mad at Simon Kinberg. He, he's got a good track record for production mm-hmm. and writing to a degree. Mm-hmm. Not directing, so it's good that he's not directing. Mm-hmm. And I don't believe he will direct because mm-hmm. there has been a running theme when it comes to Star Wars movies that even Lucas rarely wrote and directed. Yeah. If he directed, he didn't write. If yeah. he wrote, if either he or, direct, if he, or, yeah. yeah. Yeah, either or he didn't do both very mm, rarely. Mm. You know, Lawrence Kasdan did a lot of the writing. Mm. Uh, Spielberg came in and helped on either side, like yeah. with yeah. some of the directing sometimes. Like, they, you know, obviously, and then he got his college professor who actually directed Empire Strikes Back. Mad. Um, yeah, so it's like, yeah, I think he made good decisions back then. So I'm thinking maybe, hopefully, he won't, he would follow George Lucas mm-hmm. and not follow Ryan Johnson. Because remember, Ryan Johnson wrote, produced, and directed. Yeah. Him. That was a bad idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a bad yeah. idea. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna make Carrie Fisher fly, and she gonna fly out this the air that the spaceship and it's blowing up, and she gonna fly into the thing, and we just gonna say it's the Force. Now niggas can fly like Superman through space because of the Force. And, it, and it's gonna what? end. It's gonna end with a little kid. He got a broom, right? He got a broom. <laughs> you think you think nothing wrong with him? But then the broom stop moving, and they think I got the Force. Brian, the fuck? You know, I feel like it's like Matrix Reloaded for me. Like the first time we saw Neo fly, it was like, what? 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> but the problem, what the difference is, with Matrix and Neo flying, we quickly got used to it and accepted yeah. it. Yeah. We never <laughs> accepted <laughs> Princess Leia. Never. <laughs> what's that? What, what's the going fuck, on? Bruv? What is this? So you're not going to explain nothing, yeah? No, no, no. It's going to make it happen. It's the force. It's the force. Ryan, that makes no sense. It's the force. It's the force. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Dopey guy, bruvs. Nah. Nah, dumb. Friggin' uh. onion head. <laughs> well, look, yeah. He's too busy going with his getting paid peach for fucking knives out. But anyway, you get that's me? another fucking story. But anyway, yeah. you know People, let us know how you feel about this upcoming Star Wars trilogy, whether, however they decide to do it. Let us know how you feel about it. Drop a line in the comments if you agree or disagree. Mm. And yeah, man, we're happy. We'll be, we're looking forward to hearing what you got to say about it as well. Definitely. Yo, so yeah, I'm going to close off uh, just um, to give a big, massive shout out to the legend who just recently passed, Tony motherfucking Todd. Mm. Gotta give a big shout out to Mr. Candyman himself, Mr. Final Mr. Candyman. Destination himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. I want my, my fucking, fucking money. money. Legend. Straight. Come on, man, I won't hurt you. <laughs> Are you mad? Nah, he's a fucking G, bro. Tony Todd, you know. Tony Todd in the rock. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one of yeah. my favorite roles he's ever played, seriously. Mm. Yes. So. <laughs> Y'all mercenaries. So. The second we took hostages, we became the mercenary. <laughs> so all I want to know is, I want, I want my fucking money. Nah, the film's hard. <laughs> the film's hard. Ever heard that song, The Rocket Man? No, I don't listen to soft that shit. Shit. Nah, bro. Tony totally Tom. Totally He's got classic fam, lines, bro. Fam, I don't listen to soft <laughs> oh shit. Nah, Tony's a bad man. Tony's Tony a bad man. Fire, bro. Seriously. He has some dope lines, man. <laughs> Seriously, one of my favorite villains of all time. Mm, He's good. He iconic voice. Iconic yeah. voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Had, had I swear, did he do like uh, DC animation voiceover? Yeah, he done well. a lot of an, he done a lot of voiceover like, work. He lo- he done a lot of them, he's done yeah a lot of, of voiceover work. Um, obviously, he was iconic in the can in Candyman. Yeah, that's what made Final, him the name. Also made. made him the name. Final Destination as well. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he was that through line throughout all of the movies. Uh, basically, the Samuel Jackson of the Final Destination franchise. What Nick Fury was. To, <laughs> he was basically the Final Destination. But he really he was, was a just, horror guy, though, wasn't he? He you know, was a horror, horror guy. Horror. Stayed in that lane. Because he had the voice, he had the stature, he had that look. He looked evil. Yeah. He looked like he wanted his fucking money. He looks like he did want that all the time. Fucking money. And I think that's just why he worked it. He was a dope, dope character actor, bro. Seriously. Yeah, he was a good character actor, actor man. It's sad mm. to say it, but yeah. Mm. He had a great career. Like, yeah, he died at 69. Mm. 
he was he had long from a long illness but i mean he survived by his work he's mm-hmm. now got a legacy he's now a yeah. legend yeah you know made so his debut like... in platoon bro i didn't know that like that was his debut wow platoon. that's a big platoon. way to come into the game bro that's a big way big to you come know that mm. we've been in the game for a minute platoon is mm. old school wow seriously seriously but, yeah uh, yeah todd tony todd legendary actor yeah Sad to see him go but he's yeah. left behind a company of mm. juicy movies yeah yeah for people yeah. to enjoy yeah so yeah. big shout out to the legend that is tony todd Totally if it'll ever be missed definitely so, yeah yeah man thank you guys for watching as always man we really appreciate it if you could drop a like and a subscribe that would be mm. much appreciated as well thank you for all of the support we really are grateful for it man thank you and you know if there's any comment um topics or anything that you guys think is madness let us know man drop it in the mm-hmm. comments as well if there's any stuff you want us to discuss that's happening in the movie world let us know man we're, we're happy to like chop it up put that stuff out there because there's so much madness in this movie world man seriously so again i've been your boy enigma and i've been your boy kwami and we've been the two mandem that talks presents movie madness peace out.